Okay. Get on with it. What you looking at? <clears throat> Get on with it. I go. What you looking at? Welcome to our village. What are you going, Pit Lord? Greetings, my lord. Good items. Welcome to our village. Get on with it. Yeah. Help. All right, whatever. I'll get like a soul ring, and uh, then get like a mecha or a vanguard, some tank items, basically. Max max expulsion. Get like at least one pit of malice or whatever the fuck it is. Okay, so I assume everybody can hear me. Um, I'm a little scared that I have some uh, problems with my sound, but um, it's probably okay. Um, basically, I had to replug in my headset once or twice, and I had some some changes in sound on vent. So I'm hoping this is all proper uh, volumes here. So and hopefully, unfortunately, that creep just might not get lasted by me. Uh, I kind of need to farm up a Vasilius. I'm playing a support ogre. He is very much a support hero. I'm going to deny my balls off. That's three denies already. I feel pretty awesome. Just sneezed and it was awesome. I'm sorry you guys had to miss it. I just feel like YouTube's not ready for that kind of uh, serious action. So, my bad on that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play support ogre. I'm going to get a fast ring of Basilius, And from there... Basilius is a pretty good item for heroes who don't have a lot of intelligence, and even though Ogre Magi is an int hero, he actually has pretty bad intelligence, so I'm gonna tr just deny the shit out of everything possible. I may actually... No, I'm going to ignite, fuck it. Then turn the tiny... Alright, the storm is really bad, and as a result, I get an easy kill. We're even gonna kill this nerve here. Was that due to a retard? Alright, I am too off the hook for this game. That rounds me out for a ring of Basilius and a career. There we go, gonna do that. Round off a little bit of heal. If you just curious how I did that, I was a shift Q. I didn't actually start shift queuing until I started playing StarCraft. But it's absolutely fabulous to do shift queuing if you can. Um, Basically, you just uh, right click somewhere and then you hold shift and do another right click. And then, as you can see here, I'm just shift queuing all over the place. These are issued commands for Ogre to follow through. And uh, that's what you pretty much want to end up doing if possible. And look at this new ass. He needs to read my guide. Um, he thinks Rush Void Stone is good. <laughs> so just a little bit of troll and but that's understandable, fuck him, whatever. If he's that bad that he gets rushed void stone, it's just really it's pretty pathetic by all means. So I'm just gonna play safe here. I have a huge advantage in this lane. I got a freaking double kill. Even Spectre has a lot of gold. And I'm gonna ensure that all of these are denied so that Storm has no experience. And he, I am getting mana drained here, which is pretty annoying but it's not really the biggest deal ever. I have lots of regen, so I'm not too worried about taking a little bit of damage for some denies here. 
by lots of regen, I mean I'm out of regen other than myself. So I guess I'm going to have to be careful in the future. Going to deny some more. 7 deny, 0 CS. This is what you should do. Unfortunately, I did get those kills, which is not really um, something that I would do if I had the choice. But that's just kind of how it ended up. So that's how it goes sometimes. I'm probably going to try to get really fast arcane boots. You can get soul rings. But it does kind of leave you low HP sometimes, and I'm not really a big fan of that. So I'm gonna be kind of, uh, kind of uh, passive until then. And anyways, like the the build up to that is like a soapy mask, and that's really not worth it with my intelligence here. I mean, it would give me more regen, which would be great. But if I can go really fast arcane boots, that'd be better, because that could definitely support my my casting. And it is kind of funny that we're owning this lane, considering. I mean, Storm is really more of a solo hero than Nerubian Assassin. Alright, he wants to dive here. Uh, just gonna do a little bit of follow-up stuns here. I probably shouldn't have stunned Nerubian over the other guy. But, uh, yep, it's gonna be a really easy cleanup here. Really nice triple kill here. Let me just take these. So yeah, that picks me up a boots there from that support. I could sell Spectre here, but I think he's going to be okay. So I'm just going to pick up my boots. And he's getting those tangos. Get all the CS. I want to let him get CS. He's going to be able to do a lot more than me with the farm. Not necessarily early game, but most definitely late game he will. Should have CS that. Um, when it comes down to like... I mean, Zeus needs a little bit more than me. I'm definitely more of a, a hard support hero. But... And I hate it when I do that. I go for a, a deny over CS. That's so bad. And once again, getting mana drains. So that's kind of annoying. But whatever. Only 7.50 to go. And I'm going to pick up a Arcane Boots. Morphling is mid. I should really do some roaming. But I don't really have mana anyways. And I suck at pull. I almost never pull. Uh, Sound Dust is actually really good about it. About doing pulling. But I, I never think about it for some reason. And I'm even going to murder my own kind here. I feel a little bad. Uh, but he is pretty safe. He does have that ring of health. And he has a stout shield. So I just kind of wing it. I know you're supposed to like look at specific times. And this one's a little bit late. But I honestly just kind of like look at where they are on the map. And I totally botched that one. Not as bad as it could be. But definitely sloppy. Definitely sloppy pull. Now the most important aspect of this is that you want the creeps to die here. If possible. And you want them to do the damage. You want them to basically be here as long as possible. So if I let... So lit okay, good, I got the last hit. So if I deny these creatures here, that's a CS that doesn't get put on the lane. So I'm going to once in a while look over and see how Spectre's doing. The advantage of me only having two creeps here is that both of them are going to start... They're probably going to go down. I'm just going to put a little bit of damage on here because don't really have... And that's going to go down, which is good. So if the neutrals kill that creep, it counts as a... Um, basically as a deny more or less if their heroes are by they're not going to get cs and i i uh, my train of thought is going bad to my bed um i'm gonna try to get a gank here i'm gonna swing around the side i do have enough for a combo big time i've got a level three fire blast i'm just gonna sit here for a second if you are support here this is really all you need to do you need to be able to do an initiate i don't think they can spot me fuck i don't really want to move i don't think they have sight okay here we go Gonna try to get a kill. Stun going on the storm. I'm not gonna double cast, unfortunately. Gonna try to creep block him a little bit. But it's that multicast. I did steal the kill, unfortunately, but it was really worth it, so not a big deal. Alright, so this is not where you normally sit with an Ogre Magi by any means. I should not really be this farmed. I'm gonna just say... So I'm gonna take... Oops, lost my hotkeys for a second there. I'm just gonna take like two CS here so I can get my Arcane Boots. Because that's gonna help me out a lot, basically. So once we clean up this... Alright, good, got it. So I'm picking up my arcane boots now, and this is going to give me huge ganking potential. And uh, now I basically don't have to worry about running out of mana. So I'm going to probably do some roaming. I'm going to pop my HP to full, and I'm going to do some sick roaming. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna probably head mid, try to get a kill here, and also gonna support bottom. He does need help apparently. I think he just got picked off. Yep, he's died twice with three assists. Um, who's purple? That is going to be. Oh, nice. The Renubian that I just murdered is now back. So I don't know how close. So an OD doesn't have a ton of damage potential, but looks like Storm is pissed off because he got raped mid. I'm gonna sit in a position. I'm expecting a gank on this OD right here, so I'm gonna get kind of closer to him. Yep, here comes the possible gank. All right, here we go. Gonna initiate uh, OD way too defensive there. Nice. I not only did I get arcane mana, but I got the this essence aura mana. So I just got 300 mana out of that. That was pretty fantastic. But I'm just gonna sit mid and be a little. Pudge is in trouble. I guess I'm just getting ahead bottom. Oh god, that just does so much damage now, it's awesome. So I'm gonna do a little bit of roaming around. I can probably, if I can get a fucking multicast off, 25% chance, I can do big damage to either of these heroes. So hopefully I can catch one in the jungle here. If not, they're probably standing right here. Yep, there's one. Looks like, uh, well, this guy's here too. But it's not a big damage deal because I'm kind of a big tank. And I gotta be kind of careful here. Alright, that guy's going to probably die. Give me a fucking multi cast, please. Nice job. Alright, cool, and he's gonna clean up really hard. And that's the benefits of playing a supporter. If you play a really solid game there, like I just did, I mean, not saying they didn't completely feed us in lane, like they definitely fed us big time. But uh, yeah, we just we just did really good support. My mana pool is huge. I have, I mean, look how hard I tanked. I mean, I got centaur stunned and initiated on by storm. It just didn't even matter. It was like, okay, well, I have 42 agility or 42 strength at level seven, so I'm really not that worried right now. And as a result, I tanked big damage and kept dropping the nukes. I mean, I love the uh, reduced co uh, mana cost on some of these heroes. I think I just saw some TV in. Yeah, most definitely. Those look like an invisible hero, so I'm just gonna... Oh, unfortunately, I did not get that off in time. Oh man, that was rough. Big nukes. Oh well, I did die there. I, sh I should have backed as soon as we saw the TP. That was the result of us being too aggressive and being too cocky, and I just got killed. And if I would have, I should have juked probably, juked back and then stunned, because that would have been like big initiate damage from that centaur, but it's not a big deal. Tapped's doing fantastic, nine and one. I mean, that's okay. I'm doing three, one and four. Spectre has one kill, zero assists, five deaths, or five, sorry, one kill, zero deaths, five assists. And he's almost got his radiance. He's just gonna go straight radiance. He doesn't even give a shit, which is awesome. So I'm just going to do the greedy thing and finish my wand. And so I have a circlet and a arcane boots. And I really want a TP scroll, so I'm just going to wait for it. Looks so like Brad Warden, aka the centaur, is in a lot of shit. He's going to do a stun. He has phase boots here. Good good call to try to try to get out. But <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, so should I head bottom and push, or should I head... Oops. I thought I almost fucked up my cooldowns. I'm gonna head mid and harass this bastard. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Bam! Take damage, dick. Alright. I just accomplished my job, which was harassing this tiny. He no longer gets CS. If he comes back, he's gonna have a trouble initiated on me. And even then, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of HP. There's no way he can one-shot me this early into the game. So I think what I'm gonna end up getting in this game is a pipe. I'm going to probably get a Bracer as well with my stats. And you may be thinking, wait, isn't your intelligence really low? Why would you be getting a Bracer? But what I really am going to be more concerned about is the fact that I already have Arcane Boots. I don't really have mana problems, and I'm not really going to have mana problems for the rest of the game. But more importantly, if you have a lot of HP, get more HP. And all of a sudden, the HP you already have is even better. So um, that's what I'm going for. And I see Salt going down, two heroes roaming bot. Invisarune, it looks like he's going to want that. He does have a Kellen's Dagger, which is pretty fantastic. I'm going to pop my arcane. I didn't eat the mana there, but I know he did, so I'm just going to do that. I guess we're going to go around. We're going to do a back dive, and I think this is safe. He's got pretty good HP. I have excellent HP, of course, so 
Um, he's just going to do a little bit of spotting. He does blink, but oh, that's frustrating. He possibly could have gotten a storm kill. And I don't think I want to show here, so I'm going to see if they chase. I don't think they're going to, but if they do, I'm going to be ready to jump on them. So no chase going on here. I think we're just going to sit for a while. We have a lot of kill potential.